Okay, so here we've got the um, the proposal. Um, <clears throat> I just thought I'd do this video because um, I think it would be good to create an alternative for those who do not have the time or the patience to read a whole bunch of text. Um, I try to make uh, the proposal as sort of succinct as possible, but given time and just um, stuff, uh, I feel like I was not really able to achieve that. So um, a way to kind of solve for that at the moment, I feel, um, is to make a video. So I'll just quickly try and um, go through go through this um, and um, try and communicate what the essence of, um, of the idea here. So as we can see here, <coughs> the idea is basically broadcasting. Um, <laughs> Um, oh God! So, created content for early adopters. Uh, problem statement. Basically, existing formats, right? So, podcasts, etc., etc. Um, they have the problem of uh, spending a lot of time uh, creating content, and uh, basically not being able to have the equivalent when it comes to distributing it, right? So, the the effect. Um, um, of the month, you know, so basically the amount of time that they've taken compared to the amount of time um, that the uh, final output um, results in, uh, and the amount of people who actually watch that final result um, is really sort of ineffective, basically. Um, another moment, so yeah, so that's for the as for uh, content creators, for you know your average Joe. Uh, people are having to go everywhere, basically, you know, Twitter, um, you know, in terms of being able to uh, be kept up to date with uh, what's going on in crypto, or even in Cardano, you have to, you know, from the forum to, to Reddit, to Twitter, Facebook groups, etc. Um, yeah, so, and, and, and videos as well, so like live streams, you know, Periscope, um, YouTube as well, so information is everywhere, so the idea here is First and foremost, to create a distilled version um, where someone can be able to get up to date um, in one place, in one place that they can trust. So that's a problem, relevant experience. Um, I've got a design, uh, design background, basically, um, film um, as well, architecture, etc. So um, I'm in a decent position. So to be able to put together the minimum viable product to be able to sort of do the front end and back end and sort of content stuff. Um, right, so um, that's a website. Uh, it's gonna be cast.culture.art. Um, that's gonna, um, I'm yet to actually put that up. Uh, so I'll do that shortly. So detailed plan, this is where all the, a whole bunch of um, write-up is. So in the beginning here, I just sort of try to, <coughs> excuse me, try and um, communicate an idea of what I think um, a future version of this could uh, sort of look like and entail and sort of function like and feel like. Um, but then I've also been painfully aware in terms of over promising and basically ex expectation management is I think one thing that I'm, I'm quite um, quite keen to uh, to in a way get right or to be aware of uh, because I feel like within crypto like people people are just not really aware of that and just sort of promise the the sky um, yeah so now imagine blah 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 um, okay yeah so this bit I think is important so this is kind of where um, where the, the, the start is um, so in the beginning uh, one you know going back to the idea of solving a problem right the problem is how do i get updated in a succinct way that i can trust so um the idea is within this 24 hour um stream on the hour uh there'll be basically um on the, it might be on the hour um refreshed every three or maybe every six hours um and basically the the person who will be presenting it will be someone from the community. Initially, it's going to just be me, um, you know, presenting it. Uh, this 
that bit could actually be pre-recorded right because you know research has happened uh you know and then have that bit be be pre-recorded um basically because there's no need for that particular bit to be live um you know because you're sort of balancing between having a succinct um bit of content which is you know just delivering information um which doesn't you know require the variability of being live uh but then shortly after that live pre-recorded uh that pre-recorded segment then would enter into a um a bit where uh, is live so whoever presented and, may, and maybe someone else maybe me to begin with we just sort of have banter back and forth as well as sort of um, engage on community questions that have been asked you know relating to you know the the latest latest bit of news which um had just been um played back uh and that you know i i see that sort of you know taking around 10 to 15 minutes you know um yeah that would vary um you know it might <coughs> Some sections might not have the Q and A bit, you know, just be you know the update and then go into a different segment like an educational segment or, or something. Um, yeah, so that's the idea there. Um, and obviously, one of the key things here, in a way, quote unquote selling points, is the distribution, right? You have people who are creating content, um, informative or uh, educational, but they lack, in a way, the focused uh, audience. So this would basically be that because, you know, um, you'll just sort of keep building momentum, uh, you know, give it 24 hours and it's being broadcast, you know, multi-stream out to um, many, many uh, live streaming uh, platforms from YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, um, maybe even Instagram, Periscope. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's the essence of that. Uh, yeah. So that's one idea in terms of uh, not really low hanging fruit but uh, a problem which can actually be um, solved you know and obviously this the content creation process will be optimized i'll be expanding uh, on 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 that um at some point uh, further down the line um yeah so that's that's a key um point that we'll sort of be starting out um with and then obviously you've got educational content where the idea here is actually um one of the problems with educational content is uh, one, it becomes stale quite quickly because, you know, say a new version of whatever the app or programming language, etc., gets released. Um, and then the content creator, basically, it would just take so much time for them to be able to, you know, to, to say record or update it. Uh, that will not be the case here. Uh, I won't break down exactly how or why that just won't be the case because actually, you know, by the time, by the way, to, basically, by the way, it will be broken down. Um, it will be designed in a way that any new updates, like almost like in real time, by the time um, the next loop, loop around of that particular um, class or section or segment of, of, of uh, educational content comes back around, um, will be, uh, will actually be, uh, updated basically to to the newest uh, newest bit, um, so that's sort of the update uh, the yeah so sort of, yeah being able to update the stuff. Um, another issue with educational content is uh, in a way being able to interact. Like not not everyone uh, learns the same way. Some people might understand the same concept taught by one person but not the other so the variability of say whoever is presenting this educational content will um will vary um and you know again much like the sort of new segment uh, it'll have a pre-recorded bit um a canned bit uh and then uh this live interaction bit and because again it's sort of looping um you know every so often um you know, uh, and say, say lessons will sort of be broken down over the course of a month, right? And then at the end of that month, you know, we then enter into, you know, a new, basically, um, a new cohort, so to speak. Um, so the idea here is uh, to be able to actually optimize it for, you know, engagement. So not only do people learn in particular ways from, say, particular people and how they're able to explain stuff, they're, they're also able to gradually uh, interact with people, you know, on, on a kind of one-to-one -one, because I, you know, uh, because of the 24-hour nature of all this, 
it will sort of break down in a way that it will be um, quite uh, limited in terms of people who would actually be able to um, to to actually to come on uh, when it's live and sort of take the lesson kind of thing which actually works out quite well because then whoever is teaching it um can then can have sort of like a almost intimate one-to-one -one, um equivalent in terms of you know feeding back and taking questions and that kind of thing uh yeah so uh this a good highlight here uh calendar subscriptions so um a key value here is being able to actually engage um the community in a in a way where we own the customer relationship, so to speak, to use that mar uh, marketing term. Um, existing solutions, for example, uh, YouTube, you have to go through YouTube, right? Um, subscribers, right? So like they own the, the customer um, relationship, right? Because it's, it's only through that particular office, right? Um, you know, uh, and the way you sort of, you know, we make that commitment is by subscribing to to a channel. Um, so the ha, the way I'm sort of going about this is to actually create a uh, a mail slash calendar sub subscription, which goes directly um, to the individual where you know there's no middleman. Um, and you know the person when they wake up in the morning have a look at the calendar they're able to actually you know because they've subscribed to it they're able to actually see oh there's going to be a lesson on so and so or so and so is going to be you know doing a a talk uh, you know on cast um, the stream is called cast I just realized I've not actually said that this whole time uh, yeah so owning uh, the customer relationship super important and um, that's going to be done initially um, basically directly um in this particular way challenge uh da, 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 da. okay so how is this responding to the um to the challenge i think um given that the point i make is um voltaire and and uh gogan are not actually online yet so if you're building something on gogan you won't actually be able to uh to to sort of like run simulations you know outside of the sort of internal IOHK um, developer tools kind of thing. So actually, it makes a lot more sense to focus on what people can actually do right now, which is, uh, say, do, uh, understanding what Cardano is and delegating and, and stuff like that. So, um, I wonder if I should make the text larger. I think that's fine. Um, yeah, so focusing on that, which actually... Um, you know, it's practical uh, and, you know, we can be able to get a bunch of people who are not just within Cardano or crypto, or even people who are outside of crypto, you know, because that is the point. It's, you know, to to actually uh, address a wider swath of people. Uh, right. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's focusing on the audience um, because audience comes first. It's sort of chicken and egg situation. That's why there's a little chick there. Um focus on acquiring the audience because then in acquiring the audience more people equals more stability in terms of say the price of um, of ada itself uh means a broader um canvas of problems to solve uh you know which means you know uh, a whole bunch of things which just like you know th there's a knock-on effect basically um and the key here is to actually whilst in this particular phase uh, is to focus on audience acquisition uh, which is you know the key focus um, with this particular proposal uh, right so impact I've broken down um, the impact here so you've got uh, basically effectively um, addresses a challenge um, as I just explained in terms of pre Voltaire slash Gogan um, and obviously with more people um, in, in the context of um, Voltaire, the more people we have, the more actually, the richer the experience of governance in Voltaire and actually like teasing that out and, and testing it out and building it out to get to a good and secure place um, or stable place, um, the better. So again, audience acquisition. Uh, okay, we spoke about this, not, not a channel which is uh, compromised uh, and sort of ad support or 
its integrity is compromised because of being ad supported and you know subscribers of you know um third party um audience uh being owned by a different party basically um provenance uh same thing uh suppose yeah not through third parties uh better communicators yeah um an impact this will basically make uh, better communicators of you know those who will get involved um within the community which is a good thing good impact uh aligned incentives uh onboarding network effects are sort of like uh longer term yeah and i said as i said aligned incentives in terms of the guys who will be coming on um to actually um from the community to actually um work on it um you know engage with the community and and, and build this um platform out um you know there's a there's mutual uh beneficial um there's a it's mutually beneficial uh right and and also in, there's a, actually a, quite a key point here in terms of the power dynamics right now uh it's sort of lopsided right where delegators and stake uh, where stake pools have in a way more power than delegators but in creating this platform actually what's going to happen is we're going to have uh we're going to sort of readdress that balance um where actually stake pools will be in a position where oh to be able to actually um, make your case in order to get more um, delegators or new delegators you know of the existing or the new people who have come into into the ecosystem uh, they will then have to leverage um, you know this platform um, and in so doing you know you know then be able to actually fund the development of a better platform for the community uh, communication and so on you know well, a platform which is high bandwidth and low latency as this would be via video and so on live stream uh feasibility okay de-risked it broken down to six months um my skill set um all sort of you know go towards making the case for the uh, for it being um feasible auditability um so yeah again uh you can sort of have a look at these um uh, yeah i've sort of mentioned sort of kpis and um the time frame within which um the the metrics will be uh counted um as well as you know i intend to basically do update uh videos and engage in q and a's if anyone would actually uh be interested in asking questions um risks so here i've actually broken down um <clears throat> all the risks that i sort of see obviously this is an evolving document um well, I've sort of done a sort, you know, your typical SWOT analysis here, um, sort of, um, and try to state uh, mitigations next to um, next to them. So you've got strengths there, weaknesses, uh, opportunities, um, and threats. Uh, right, da, 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 da. Uh, here I've broken down how property is going to be um, uh, dealt with. Uh, broken out the roadmap and the budget uh, i need to actually edit this um and a link to the um to the spreadsheet which is there uh at some point i think it makes sense to have a gantt chart um so that at some point that's coming um and then here you can be able to have a peek uh, at uh, some of the graphics for the different segments um uh through this link uh it, it probably makes sense for me to do to do a video uh on this at some point uh, in the near future uh yeah and last but not least as i said i think video is a good high bandwidth low latency way to actually communicate um and if say yeah, if you've got any uh questions just reach out to me and we can have a video um call um uh, on discord um or in a way in any other platforms um uh, just not zoom because i don't care about privacy and security um yeah so yeah just re uh, reach out uh, on discord and uh we'll be able to um talk actually a quick point that i'll make here i've not quite edited this bit but the amount that, I'm, that is being requested is basically uh two hundred thousand ada which translates um to around 9.9 percent .9 of the pot um of fund two and uh yeah I think uh, everyone will be able to make up their mind, but I think actually for the 
potential upside that this provides um, and how it's been broken down in terms of uh, the MVP, I think it's actually quite good.